Hey, folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got the Callan Carr. I uh, hope I'm saying that right. Username writing in a question on the, in the comments on the video, uh, and he's asking about a long 2.8 zoom for uh, his camera. So we're looking at, uh, sir, I have a Nikon D750, also have a Nikon 85 F18G and a 50 F14D, and I have that 50 F14D. I love it, actually. It's not right here. This is another one of my F14s. This is my SC which I love this little guy. It's, I don't shoot with it a whole lot, but I will never get rid of this. I think I paid about 45 bucks for it, and it is a work of art on build quality. All metal, beautiful. Reminds, it always strikes me as something Leica would have made. It's older Nikon SC. But I have the 1.4D. I think, actually, you know what? It's in my bag with the 7500 right now, which I'm reviewing. That's where it went. So, uh, which is in the car. Now I want to buy the Nikon 80-200 DED. Is that the right choice in 2018? My budget is max 1300 USD. VR is not important for me. And then we've got Jasper chiming in saying, Calen Car, uh, 80-200D is a great lens. I have one. I'm using it on a 750 body, and it's working great. So thanks, Jasper. That's a great little user review coming in in answer to Calen Car's question. Um, and I would just chime in and say absolutely. Um, if you don't care about VR, pretty much any of the older 80 to 200 uh, 2.8s are fantastic from Nikon. I had a couple of the old push-pull, and the only real negative with those was you could the push-pull action would sometimes get dusty inside the lens. It was almost like you're creating a vacuum when you push-pull. However, it was a great lens, and actually I never really saw the dust being an issue in photos. It's one of those things where you don't like to see it, but in practical world shooting terms, never really saw it being an issue. Um, so that uh, 80 to 200 DED, that's a very nice lens. Um, my, one of my good buddies owned that lens. He's since upgraded several times. Loved it though, and he only went for the VR. So if VR is not important for you, that is a great lens, and you can probably pick it up for a steal. Um, I think uh, you would definitely be able to get one within your budget, probably much lower than that. I would think you could get an 80 to 200 DED for under a thousand. My guess is maybe even a Nikon refurb. Um, I'll put some links below. You can check it out. Uh, but what do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Is an 80 to 200 DED Nikon, is it uh, a good option if you don't care about the VR, especially on a D750? Very nice body. As you know, we've been talking about the possible update to that, the 760. Um, Jazpreet um, added his user experience and he loves it he has that lens and he shoots it on a 750 so there's one person that's actually got that lens on the same body and loving it what do you guys think let me know in the comments below let's help out Kal kalakinkar i hope i'm saying that right um with his decision here he's uh, he's got a great camera some great lenses and just wants to get something in a telephoto curious to see what you guys have to say let us know in the comments below what you would do and why and uh, thanks for chiming in. Thanks for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.